Hi again with my bake. <laughs> okay. This is like my favorite powder. Is this anybody else's favorite powder? This is the translucent Kat Von D uh, setting powder. Does anybody else like this? It's like my favorite powder. I'm gonna have to buy the full size one as soon as I'm out of that one. Is there any other like setting powders you guys recommend or what's your favorite? I'm just curious what you guys, what's your favorite out there? I'm gonna show you again but with um, different colors, more neutral, more everyday colors. Me as a drama girl, I love the drama on the eyes. So I don't mind doing a very dark, dramatic, smoky eye for the daytime look. But um, there's other, you know, people out there who would want a very softer look. But right now I'm going to do, I want to do a dramatic nighttime look. I had been to my very first Sephora class and I picked up so, a new, some new tips and tricks. Sorry, I can't even think right now. I had too much coffee. <laughs> the, co the caffeine in coffee has been making me feel jittery lately. So I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee, yeah. No, I'm drinking co iced coffee with water. So I'm like sipping coffee chugging water <laughs> this caffeine is like getting me a little bit jittery and like a little, little bit lunaticky. so I'm gonna teach you um, the tips that I picked up as well and then I'm gonna teach you what I already know and I'm gonna apply both together what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go in with the smoky eye you can grab My personal opinion, I would be saying you can grab whatever color you want. What I learned, what we're going to do now, right now, um, what I learned is so your skin tone color may be a shade or two darker than your own skin tone. Um, that will be the base of the smoky eye, okay? So it's a light brown. I'm, gra I'm grabbing light brown. Tap off the brush. Okay, and I explained this in my last video, but let me explain it again since this is the in-depth. Grab your finger, go ahead and feel for your brow bone, the actual bone. So feel for it lightly because it, your eye is very sensitive. I, mine's is right here, and it sort of stops to where my eyebrow is right there. Do you see that? So mine's is right here, and that's where you're going to apply the eyeshadow. And with this bake right here, um, it's what it's going to do, it's like tape. It acts like tape, what tape would do. Make it a very sharp line right there, so you have a very good definition right here. And I like that. What I like to do is go pat motions. Pat motions. You see that right there? So that's where it's going to be at. Just directly on your brow bone. I like when I blend, I like to use round, soft round motions. And then windshield, like back and forth like this. How you want to hold your tool, your blending brush, is sort of not... Well, it, I guess it's a preference because sometimes I do the tip. I hold, I sometimes I'll just hold the tip and go like this. But what I picked up in the class is they said to sort of midway to the end, hold your brush there and don't hold it like you would be holding a pencil. Um, then you don't get the full control of what you're doing like that. And then it won't come out very soft and blended. So go ahead and just grab your brush, go towards like middle end with a light hand that gives you, it's very light and it, you don't press too hard. It doesn't make you press too hard on your skin. So just keep blending until you get it right. 
So I'm gonna grab a, a shade darker than this color right here. I'm gonna swirl the brush. Tap off, tap off the excess. So I'm going on the crease here. So the actual crease where your lid and the brow bone meet. And I'm gonna create a V shape. So with a light hand, you just wanna lightly brush it like that. In the crease, it's easier to just go windshield wiping, at least for me. And if you're looking a little bit sharp on, on the crease, I was told you can grab a little smaller brush. All I have is a pencil brush, but you could grab a smaller, more dense, um, brush and you could grab a, a light shade so a skin tone color you know what I mean so I'm gonna do it with the pencil brush if you got a sharp line here and you don't know how to fix it to just lightly go over it and it just neutralizes that sharpness huh So we created that V color. You see that V is on top of my eyelid as well along the lash line. Make sure you keep your eye open as well. Um, you want to see what you're doing and um, you don't want to be closing your eye and having one eye open. So you want both eyes attentive to what you're doing and Just go from there. So um, I'm using Maybelline Blushed Nudes. I'm going to grab this color right here. So that one. So what, what you want to do is grab a dense brush. This one is a little bit more stiffer than a blending brush. So blending brush you could you know bend twist whatever gives you more control for the actual eyelid what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab going to go like this and then we're gonna spray it so for a more metallic -y look like I said I love the drama spray your life away one spray is pretty good enough You can grab whatever shimmer color you like. I like padding motion, so you can totally just do your own colors, whatever you prefer, whatever you like. I really like this drama color. Um, to me, these are neutral colors, um, probably except the purplish pink color that I have on my lid but I think it's super pretty I dusted off the setting powder and I'm sorry I guess I forgot to do it around my nose and my chin area and I applied bronzer around my face area there goes that so I am going to apply some shadow underneath my eyes so what I'm gonna do is this half part the corner outer corner part I'm gonna apply brown so this is the light brown that I have so this is the light brown right here oops sorry right here and then here's the darker one darker shade color um, so I'm gonna use both So I'm going to grab a packing brush, 
So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the end part of the brush it's, and I'm just lightly, just lightly brushing my under eye. So then I'm going to grab the packing brush again. I'm going to grab the same purplish pink color that we did on the lid, spray it. And I'm sort of going over that brown. So I'm just mixing those colors together. So there goes the eye look. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just quickly apply highlight on the brow, up on the brow bone, um, some blush, eyeliner, mascara, do the whole nine yards, and then I'll be back to do lips, and then we'll be done. Okay, just like that, I'm back. Okay, so I got it pretty much done, and uh, I'm going to wrap up the look by um, applying some lipstick. I'm actually going to go in with a lip liner first. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just shading my lips in with this lip pencil, excuse me, lip liner. My notorious little ombre look. I'm going to go in with the nude color. I always do this. Smells so good too. Okay, so the last, very last step, which I don't want to forget about, is to set your face so it won't fall and drip all over the place. <laughs> all right, everybody. So that is the perfect smoky eye nighttime look. I hope y'all like it. And it looks better with your hair down. Nah, if your hair is fixed up, it looks very pretty just as just the same. But I always like to have my hair down. Sorry about my dirty shirt. Dirty shirt is a no-no. So I hope everybody likes my smoky eye tutorial, in-depth, more step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the perfect smoky eye. And I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up on my video, please. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any more suggestions on it's like, it's like the wind in my hair blowing in the beach. <laughs> Never mind. I need to move that damn fan out of my eyes because it's just making me cry, making me teary-eyed. So if you guys have any more suggestions on what you guys want to see from me and um, anything, just let me know and go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. It is Nellie's Beauty. 411 and yeah so i hope you guys like it have a great day everybody and stay safe see you guys in the next video okay bye